Yat E Shike Do Shudunea. Welcome to my family, my friends, and all my relations. So today in the gallery, we're going to talk about a really interesting development in historic Southwest Indigenous wearable art. And that is the introduction of Hubble glass. So in the late 1800s and early 1900s, turquoise was very difficult to come by. And the commercial turquoise mines don't open until around the 1920s. Yet the Diné Navajo and Zuni silversmiths wanted to have that stone that was the color of the sky and the color of the water. Interestingly enough, John Lorenzo Hubble and many of his contemporaries who had the early training posts brought in Hubble glass. And this was glass that was the color of the sky and the color of the water. And the glass was imported from Czechoslovakia and Bohemia and other Eastern uh, and Western European countries. And here are three great examples of historic indigenous wearable art using Hubble glass. So the first one is a four stone cuff. And this is set on ingot silver. What's interesting about this cuff, of course, are the repurposed stones. And those are bow drilled stones that perhaps the, the Hubble glass was um, an earring in the past. And then here is another beautiful example of a three stone Hubble glass cuff on heavy ingot silver. This one's quite unusual because it's more green than it is blue. And the third example is this beautiful ring. All of these pieces date to the late 1800s and early 1900s. So Hubble glass pieces are very collectible because once the commercial mines open in the 1920s, there's no need for the glass anymore. So if you are an aficionado of Navajo and Zuni jewelry like I am, this is a piece you should have in your collection. We have a couple pieces on the website on the historic bracelet page. Check them out. Until next time, Hagone.